What's going on you guys? This is MXKD. I have another HP Compact. This is the 500B mini tower. Going to be upgrading the processor and change the CMOS battery. Show you how to do that. So first there's a thumb screw in the back of the case. You're going to unscrew it. You're going to slide the side cover panel. And you guys need a, either a Torx T15 screwdriver or a flathead. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, you just have to use a flathead. There are four screws right here from the heatsink cooler from the processor. Two in the bottom, two in the top. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unscrew. Zoom in the camera. So the heatsink is removed, now you're going to take a clean paper towel and apply rubbing alcohol like a 70% and what you're going to do is you're going to put on a clean paper towel like this and wipe down the old thermal compound from the processor before you remove it. Uh, same way with the heatsink cooler from the processor here, you're going to wipe it down. And if your uh, heat sink has got a, like a really dry thermal compound, then what you do is you take a debit credit card and you just scrape it off like this. Scrape it off and uh, take a clean paper towel, take a 70% rubbing alcohol, apply it like this, and just wipe it off. The reason why I put this bag over here because so this on the thermal compound does not fall into the motherboard. If you're like this, and you're perfectly fine. That's good enough. Now you're gonna remove the processor. To do that, as a clip, you take like this. And the processor, guys, I'm going to be upgraded is an Intel Core 2 Quad, and it's a Q, uh, it's a Q8400. And the way you install the processor, it's the same way as go. There'll be one to cut corner here in the bottom, one at the top right there. I'll zoom in the camera, you guys can see. Okay, let's see if the camera is going to zoom in. So that's the way you're going to install the same way you see it, like this. That's how you're going to install the processor, like that. Now you're going to take a new thermal compound. You could either just apply it right in the middle, like this. And, and when you install the heatsink back, it will spread evenly. But the other way I'll do it is just going to apply it into the heatsink, like this. Not too much, and you're going to take a debit credit card you have and just spread it evenly like this. Hold on, let me get this all around. So that's good enough. Now you're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure you can take the four pin for the for the fan, CPU fan. You connect it back to the motherboard.
Now you're going to screw it back on. Make sure you check all the four screws and the uh, two screws on each side. Make sure they're tight, they're not loose. I'm just gonna go around and check again. So we upgraded the processor to Intercore 2 Quad, the Q8400. Now will be the last part is uh, changing the CMOS battery. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna go around the, there's a little clip, I'm zooming the camera, you guys can see right there. And it just comes right out. So here's the old battery, change it to new one, and you're done. So you're going to put the side cover panel back on, we'll move the processor. Let's zoom out the camera. And I'm going to screw up back the thumb screw in the back. See you guys, this be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.